So colors, why should you care about them and what to pay attention to? Now, of course, we're all familiar with the standard colorization, right? Green means, for example, good, red means that it's bad. And you can do this in conditionally format, of course, the series to define, for example, whether or not you have met the target, which means that if I go down into one of the columns, I can quickly understand, okay, in which days did I meet the target and which days didn't, it, right? It allows me to quickly read the chart and quickly understand the situation overall. That's why colors are so important. But that's not the only thing. Conditional formatting is just a part of it. Another thing to pay attention to is when you are doing the same sort of coloring is to keep the same color for the same data. So for example, in this case, you can see that in all these charts, I'm actually talking about the investment amount. So on the timeline, it's the investment amount in the bar chart and in the donut chart, they're all talking about the investment amount. The same thing right here, the KPI cards, the same color. So that whenever a user is going through the report, he can quickly understand that it's the same value going throughout the chart. Now, how it would be differently if I would just apply a little bit of color on top of it, right? So we can go to a different page right here. And you can see this is also something you can do. Sure, the, the report itself now has a lot more car, colors. So it kind of looks a little bit more interesting. But if you start to take a closer look at it, it's starting to become a lot more confusing. Because right now you have the dark blue. So that's, for example, the investment amount. Okay, cool. So the investment amount by industry. But now you see that food and beverage is, for example, yellow. Fashion and beauty is in red. Okay, one of them is actually in the blue color that we're looking for. Now we take a look at the donut chart right here and we see that Mark Cuban is in yellow. But wait, Mark Cuban is in yellow. Food and beverage is in yellow. Are they connected in any way or form? Okay, I choose down Mark Cuban. Then I see a season five is also in the same color. So the importance of the color is to present the user the information in a way that he can easily understand it and navigate through it. One thing that you should always try to avoid is mixing those colors and placing them all around. If you're talking about the same data, make sure you just apply the same color. And if you're trying to go with, for example, two different values that you're showcasing in the charts, then apply two different colors and make sure that they are transparent in a way that every single visual that references them has the same color. Make it easy for your user to navigate the reports rather than create a report where he has to spend five or six minutes just to understand, okay, what the hell am I looking at?